Avery, is that you? No, 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 no! Don't listen to you, Mary. It can't be you. <laughs> what did you do, Emily? Oh my god, Harry, no! In the end, you performed the ritual. Why? I don't understand it. Why? You knew it. You knew it wasn't going to work. wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? Self spoke directly to you. Hatha Fogarfin. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. So you faked your own demise. And left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those silly glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Dickie to carry your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your sleeping jars. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you is to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be you. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, Understanding friendship. Beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make.
We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I don't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am. And leave you behind. Oh, sorry, Harry. I'm going go. back home. melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was from here. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the Icor. Connected with the Elder God. Goodbye, Harry. Goodbye, Harry. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. All my life is empty since I went away. Skies don't seem to be so May some angel sentry guard you while I stray And fate be kind to join us some sweet day